Okay, so earlier this week I demonstrated how to do around the world. So working on reinforcement zones, getting the primary reinforcement zone, getting sit and down here, and then moving to the left and the right behind you. And now we're gonna work on the middle sit. Um, some people call it middle. Um, I just call it between your legs. I don't actually tell him to go to this place. What I do is when he's running, if I want him in position to put his feet on my feet so I can walk, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, I'm usually, I'm just cueing him to sit as he's starting to come between my legs. I then yell sit before he runs all the way through. Now this one's a little harder because most dogs just want to run all the way through because that's a really weird place for them to, uh, for us to ask them to do anything. Um, think about how many times they get under your feet and we're constantly yelling at them, get out of the way, get out of the way. Um, but getting them comfortable there is really useful for like behaviors. Um, if you see, if you do bite work, uh, or uh, shoot sound, you might see the dogs walking between um, the, the human's legs as the human is walking slowly um, and the animal is between the legs. So that's one place you might see it. In the military, you might see it. But for trick work, what we use it for is just that way like our dogs can just kind of be in that space to either put their feet on your feet or to like pirouette with you or to move with you. Now this is a harder one for Captain, which is why we're not gonna demonstrate a whole lot today, but at least you can start to see what that reinforcement zone would look like and how you would start to get them comfortable in that space. And also when you're working with it, be mindful that your dog is likely going to run through and try to offer a front sit because that's what they've been reinforced for more than anything else. Um, so let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna bring him behind me. So remember we were doing back sits last time. So if they're comfortable there, I can then lure him. Sit, good job, to here. Good boy, this one's hard. Touch, ready? Sit, yes, good job. Do you see how his foot's already starting to go on my foot? That's actually ultimately where we go with this. Good boy. I'm wearing the wrong shoes, but we're gonna try it. And yes, good boy. So you can see that's the beginning of that trick. I could also have him not on my feet and we could just walk in space together or I could move this way or this way and just keep him in that spot. But this is a reinforcement zone that's hard for a captain. It's hard for a lot of dogs. So cap down. So you see how I asked for a down while he was in that reinforcement zone. Instead, he went to primary reinforcement zone and went down. That he's not wrong. If I say down, that is his understanding of down, which is why I have to work on it. If this is where I want him to down, this is where I have to work on that behavior. Come through, ready? Down, yes, good job. Good boy, touch. Come through. Oh. <laughs> Sit. Okay, here. Touch. Sit. Down. Yes. Good job. Good job. So reinforcement zones, play around with them, try sits, try downs, um, try the around the world game that we did yesterday. I'll put a video over here. Um, and try in the middle, sits and downs in, the, in your middle, between your legs for sits and downs. Um, and if you go back, you can look at leg weaves. Um, and we do a lot of stuff where the dog runs through the middle. Um, I even demonstrated one in the around the world game just to get Captain to move from left to right, just to mix it up for him a bit. But getting your dog to move through your middle is one thing, that's easier. Getting them to stop and stay there is a lot harder. So why don't you play around with that concept this week and we'll see you next time.